And that breaking news tonight, a pro-Palestinian protest turns dangerous this evening. Capitol Police dressed in riot gear worked to keep back a crowd that was calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. It was a chaotic scene up on Capitol Hill tonight. Thanks for joining us, everybody, for News 4 at 11. I'm Jim Adley. I'm Sean Yancey. Capitol Police and D.C. Police responded to Canal and Ivy Street Southeast on Capitol Hill. At one point, the protesters were actually blocking the entrance to the DNC headquarters, and police made at least one arrest. News 4's Walter Morris is live in front of the DNC tonight. So, Walter, what's the latest? Well, Sean, you can see things have calmed down here, but it was a much different picture about an hour and a half ago. Now, in the last 30 minutes, police confirming six officers were injured. One person has been arrested, now facing charges for assaulting an officer. And up until a few moments ago, police actually had this street blocked off. But we want to show you what's left. Take a look at this. You can see all of these lights here on the ground at the entrance of the DNC. Those demonstrators bringing them here as they were calling for a ceasefire, but things taking a turn. Let's go to video so we can show you you what we're talking about. Take a look at this. Now, one of those protesters sharing this cell phone video from their perspective, you can see Capitol Police officers pushing back demonstrators. And then as the camera turns, officers are seen pulling those protesters away from the door. Again, that's the entrance of the DNC headquarters just around the corner from the Capitol. Earlier this evening, Democratic leaders hosting a reception inside. Capitol Police say 150 people gathered illegally and grew violent, but those pro protesters telling a much different story, pointing the finger at police. Now let's go to this next video. Check this out from this angle, from the ground. Again, you can see what started as a peaceful protest turning physical. At one point, officers using pepper spray to push the crowd back, organize the organization's Jewish Voice for Peace, Action, Democratic Socialists of America, and if not now, organizing a candlelight vigil near the Capitol earlier this evening, and then marching to the DNC headquarters to place those lights at the entrance. Now, I caught up with one of the organizers earlier and listened to why they chose to gather here. We're here calling for a ceasefire now. Every day that there is not a ceasefire, yeah, hundreds more people die, and we have to come back here with more candles. It's unacceptable, and the Democratic Party uh, claims to be a party that represents people and fights for peace and justice. And what we're we seeing now is that is a lie. And so images from that candlelight vigil before things escalated, showing all of those lights and the shadow of the Capitol. Again, organizers say they brought 11,000 candles to represent all of the Palestinian lives that have been lost during the war. Now back out here live. As far as a police presence, still a very large police presence here in this area. Several streets have been closed off. And at last update from Capitol Police, they say those officers who were hurt suffered minor injuries. Reporting live in the district, Walter Morris, News 4. All right, quite a scene out there. Walter, thank you.